This is just a very quick follow-up video to the previous one I posted on this electronics kit. It is for a digital clock and um, it didn't appear to be working. It was kind of working. It would go through various functions. I could set the time and date, um, but nothing seemed to be running. The time never changed. Nothing was uh, really animated other than the explicit main processor animations. Uh, so I started looking into this and it turned out it wasn't actually working. It seemed to be running, but um, the time never changed. So the first thing I tried was to unplug the, um, the DS uh, time chip. And when I powered it back up, I got an error showing. So it was aware that the chip wasn't uh, there. And it was clear that the chip must work at least to a certain extent for the system to not show an error. And it wasn't showing an error, it just wasn't running. So I started looking into this a bit further and I put a scope on the uh, clock, the, the 32 kilohertz clock, and um, it wasn't running. So there was no 32 kilohertz uh, crystal oscillator running. And I started looking into this further and the problem turned out to be the crystal itself. And uh, I've had an issue with these sorts of crystals in the past, uh, probably one in a hundred just don't seem to work properly and uh, others are fairly temperamental. These larger ones, this is kind of a larger version of these crystals, tend not to be too bad. The small ones are a real pain and they do tend to vary a lot. Uh, but these big ones are normally okay, but um, that's what turned out to be the problem. I put a new crystal in and it uh, kind of started coming to life, but it was still a bit flaky in its operation that um, probably one or two in 10 times when I powered it up, it would just start screeching and howling at me and I couldn't do anything, none of the buttons worked and the only uh, thing I could do was to unplug it and plug it back in again. And um, that turns out to be, I think, the reset circuit. Um, it's a very simple reset circuit on this. It's just a capacitor and a resistor and the reset switch just discharges the capacitor. And um, it looks like the resistor value may have been a bit high, it was 10K and that can cause the reset line to uh, change a bit too slowly and some microcontrollers don't like that and they start up in a bit of a strange manner. So I reduced the resistor from 10K to 4.7K and it hasn't done that since. Um, the other thing is really you should have a, a diode uh, in that circuit to prevent the input to the um, reset line on the controller going negative when you power the device off. If you've got a capacitor connected to the positive rail, connected directly to the pin on the microcontroller, then when you remove power, the plus five volt rail drops very quickly to zero. But if there's still charge in that capacitor, then the pin on the reset line is driven negative. So put a, a diode on there to uh, uh, create a path down through the ground. Uh, once I'd made those small changes, it uh, started working. So I could set the time, I could set the date, and as you can see, it is now running. Uh, we've got a seconds indicator moving around the outside of the dial, and we can change the mode it runs in, so we can have the seconds indicator as a gap. Hopefully you can see this and there isn't too much flicker. Or we can have a more animated version, but this time it continues, did this once before then stopped, but now it is actually timing. We can have what just appears to be random, and then this pattern that builds up. And then these we had before, but I think these are just driven directly from the main micro. Also notice on the time, there is a colon now between the uh, hour and minutes, which wasn't there before. Okay, so it now appears to be working. I haven't tried the alarm functions. I'm assuming they now work if the clock's running. And um, so 
did seem a bit strange that it wasn't uh, fairly easy to use. The buttons are uh, fairly simple, that it does go through the various settings as we saw, but it just simply wasn't working. Uh, it's now working, so hopefully that's the problem solved, and uh, I now have a clock in my lab.